In this video, we'll provide an overview of OptiNest, our nesting optimization software. We'll import a list of parts from a cabinet set up in Polyboard. OptiNest will then take that list of parts and calculate the nesting patterns from a stock of panels. We'll take a look at the optimization results, labels, and output for your nesting CNC, along with some extra features that will boost productivity in your workshop. Although we're going to focus on the integration with Polyboard, OptiNest is a standalone application that allows you to import parts from other applications and from a spreadsheet, or you can create the parts manually within the software itself. In this Polyboard test cabinet, the drawer and door facades have a grain. We've added this to show you OptiNest's perfect grain feature. OptiNest will always take the grain direction into account and nest parts so that the grain lines up with the panel's grain. Perfect grain goes one step further. It ensures that the parts are placed next to each other on the panel so the grain flows naturally across them in your finished project. If I select all the facades and right click, we can see that I've already activated the grain continuity feature. Before optimizing, let's look at the 3D model in wireframe. We can see the machining details here for the panel fittings, drawers and doors. We'll now export the parts from this project, along with all the grain and machining details, to OptiNest. To do that, go to the File menu, Post Processor Export, and select your preferred post processor configuration. In this case, we'll choose a DXF output configured to work with VCarve Pro CAM software and horizontal CNCs. The part-by-part -part files are generated and open automatically as a parts list in OptiNest. As well as the part outline, all machining details have been imported. As alternatives to the Polyboard integration, parts can be imported as DXF files or from a spreadsheet as a text file. You can also add parts manually. Let's add a simple rectangular part. I can double click on any part and edit its shape here as well. Let's just delete this part and focus on our list of imported cabinet parts. Our materials and stock of panels are already set up. The materials, in fact, are synchronised with Polyboard. The list of materials is here. And if we click on the Edit Panel icon, we can see the actual panel stock of those materials. Select a single panel to see the dimensions, material, quantity and other parameters. At the bottom of the window, we can create new panel stock or import stock from a spreadsheet or as DXF files. Whilst we're here, let's change this stock item of these 18 millimeter panels from an unlimited number to a stock of 10 panels. Back in the parts list now, we can click on the optimize button and OptiNest will calculate the best possible optimization according to our parameters and show the results on screen. Here we've got a single nesting pattern shown in the main window. A summary of all the nesting patterns is shown below. Click through this to view each individual nesting pattern. The nesting pattern shows the placement of all parts, usable offcuts, and unrecoverable or waste offcuts. It also shows the machining details of each part. In the properties menu on the right, we can see more details of the optimization, including the amount of offcut and how many parts have been placed. Let's take a look at the Egger nesting pattern now. Here we can see all the door and draw facades from our polyboard project placed adjacent to each other, so the grain will match across them. The optimization results are also available for printing. Clicking on the print preview icon, as well as a list of the parts and panels used, we can see a summary of the nesting patterns that have been created. Then we move on to each individual nesting pattern. Really important for efficient production are the labels. In the file menu, let's click on label preview to show a sheet of those ready for printing. It's also possible to print labels individually to a dedicated printer or output label data for automatic printing and placement on the panel before cutting. Labels are available for each part, the panel and recoverable offcuts. The data fields displayed on each label are completely configurable and can include the part name, dimensions, CNC file name as text and as a barcode and the edging locations too. To make the production process easier, the part's location on the nesting pattern and therefore on the panel can be shown. When the label is orientated so the arrow always points upwards in respect to the nesting pattern, then any edging shown will match up with the correct edge of the actual part. OptiNest output options include a configurable DXF export of the nesting pattern details to generate the files to run your nesting CNC machine. Go to the file menu, 
export and select the output you need. Here is the DXF setup. This output is compatible with virtually any CNC software. Each layered file includes the panel details, the outline for each part, and crucially, all machining details. Using these files, it's then possible for your CNC software to identify each layer name and automatically associate it with a specific tooling operation. Let's now go into the optimization and select the deduction icon. This updates our stock levels following optimization. Clicking back into the stock, we can see the results. The 18mm material here is now showing two less panels, and all recoverable offcuts have been added to the stock and are available for your next optimization. Before we finish, a quick reminder again that although OptiNest offers a very good integration with Polyboard, it is a standalone solution for nesting parts on any sheet material. Let's load in a prior optimization of three complex metal parts and click here to see the parts list itself. Optinest significantly speeds up your nested CNC production process. It generates instant material savings and comes with some great label and stock management capabilities. Thanks very much for watching.